Moskva, a ship in the Russian Navy's Black Sea Fleet, has been badly damaged and its crew evacuated amid the country's ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Russian officials claimed the damage was the result of a fire on board, while a Ukrainian official claimed it was a result of a Ukrainian missile strike. Here is what we know so far about the ship and what may have happened to it. Moskva displaces 12,500 tons and is 186 meters in length. What is Moskva and why is it so important? Moskva is one of Russia's most critical warships. It is a guided missile cruiser and the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which operates in the Black Sea, the Sea of Azov and the Mediterranean Sea. Russian news agencies said Moskva, which was commissioned in 1983, was armed with 16 anti-ship Vulcan cruise missiles with a range of at least 700 kilometers. The ship was known as Slava during its Soviet service, before taking the name Moskva in 2000. The 12,500-ton ship usually has a crew of about 500 people. Ukrainian authorities said Moskva featured in one of the landmark early exchanges of the war in Ukraine, when Ukrainian border guards on Snake Island, a small outcrop in the Black Sea, told the ship to go asterisk 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 yourself after it demanded they surrender. Although Ukrainian officials initially said all 13 guards had in the subsequent Russian attack, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky later said some of them survived. The Moskva usually has a crew of around 500 people. How was Moskva damaged? Russian officials said a fire on Moskva caused some ammunition to explode, the Interfax news agency reported. As the result of a fire on the Moskva missile cruiser, ammunition detonated. The ship was seriously damaged, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. The crew was completely evacuated. Officials added that the causes of the fire were being established. Maxim Mochenko, the Ukrainian governor of the region around the Black Sea port of Odessa, claimed the Moskva had been hit by two Ukrainian-made Neptune anti-ship cruise missiles, which caused very serious damage. He did not provide evidence. It has been confirmed that the missile cruiser Moskva today went exactly where the border guards on Snake Island told it to go, he said in an online post. There are unconfirmed reports that Moskva sank after sustaining this damage. Ukraine's defense ministry did not respond to a request for comment, and the news agency was unable to verify either side's claims. A satellite image shows an undamaged Moskva docked in a port in Sevastopol, Crimea on April 7, 2022. Alessio Patalano, a professor of war and strategy at King's College in London, told CNN that losing the warship would be a massive blow for Russia. Ships operate away from public attention and their activities are rarely the subject of news, he said. But they are large floating pieces of national territory and when you lose one, a flagship no less, the political and symbolic message, in addition to the military loss, stands out precisely because of it. Moskva the second major Russian ship to suffer serious damage. Last month, Ukraine said it had also destroyed a Russian landing support ship, the Orsk, on the smaller Sea of Azov. Russia's navy has launched cruise missiles into Ukraine, and its activities in the Black Sea are crucial to supporting land operations in the south of the country. Russia said 1,026 soldiers from Ukraine's 36th Marine Brigade, including 162 officers, had surrendered in the key port city of Mariupol, and that the area was fully under its control. Ukraine's defense ministry spokesman said he had no information about a surrender. Capturing the Azovstal industrial district, where the Marines have been holed up, would give Russia control of Ukraine's main sea of Azov port, reinforce a southern land corridor, and allow it to expand its occupation of eastern Ukraine. Loading. Mapping Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 